Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Hotline Miami. Wrong number. Um, so uh, we are now playing as this bear man. Um, this marks uh, character number 10. I actually count it um, while I was away. Um, so there is Marvin Brown, the uh, the first guy we played, the, the actor. Uh, there is Corey, who is the... Uh, Corey is the zebra man right there. Uh, there is Tony, who uh, is the tiger. Ha. Uh, there is Alex and Ash, who is, uh, you know, the twins. So that's that's five. Um, then we have me. So that's six. Then we have the henchman um, for number seven. Uh, we have Ale uh, Evan and Pardo for eight and nine. And then we have Jake, the white supremacist, for uh, 10. And then we have the soldier for 11. So we're actually at 11. My bad. Uh, I forgot. So uh, 11 playable characters minus three of them because um, three have the same story. That is still nine concurrent storylines happening with no overlap. <laughs> Uh, so it is nine, there are nine stories being told in this game right now. <laughs> and yes, two of them are over. Like, two of them have died. That's still seven, seven stories. <laughs> All at the same time, in different timelines. So, um... So yeah, that kind of, this kind of gives a little bit of insight into why these kids are doing this. Obviously, um, it, they're fascinated with Jacket. They're copycat killers, right? So that's that's what they do. Okay, so I like how they they bought the drugs. Like he bought the drugs. <laughs> um and like now he's going to go kill those people. These these kids really don't necessarily have any real sense of justice. They're just out for fame. Um I'll be honest with you, these kids are by and large the most interesting characters in the game to me. Um Mark is the least interesting of the masks. So here's Mark's thing, right? Okay, you ready for this? Ready? That's it. He has two guns and he can do this. <laughs> um, this is a very cool thing in very, it, it depends on the scenario there. And luckily this game understands that and does actually put you in some um, scenarios in which, you know, that is uh like it, it th there is a couple levels where literally there's just glass on your left and right side unfortunately uh if you actually run in there and do that you know the way that uh the way that the game prompts you to you will die you will be shot and you will die <laughs> um so you know that that kind of sucks but eh. i also question right i mean i know this is like the 80s uh but how do you get your hands on two automatic rifles like it just uh, gun control right come on <laughs> you can uh you can totally control this by the way uh in the cutscene okay uh this is the best part of him And they will go in that direction, too. Um, he's w one of the few characters in which the crosshair does not necessarily dictate um, what direction he is going to be shooting in. So, for example, 
Uh, it is it is really wonky, but I could just be, except for that dog killed me. But you know, hey. But if I wanted to, just. You know, nice open corridors they give you. So if you wanted to just drop some people, this is the best place to do so. Um, these are also really good weapons. That's the other thing about this character is like, these are actually genuinely good guns. Um, when he dies, or I'm sorry, when, when you lose, like when you, when you run out of bullets, uh, it, you can just pick up other weapons. He just becomes a general character. So you're not SOL like other characters. Um, he He's not the worst character in the game. I just think out of the out of the three kids, he's probably the least interesting. Uh, no, no, I, I, I crossed it out. Tony is by and large the least interesting character in the game um, because the punching mechanic is something that was in Hotline Miami 1. Um, and the fact that, like, every other thing about uh, the kids, right, they all have... I keep calling them kids. I'm sure they're grown-ass adults. But every other aspect of these guys, right, um, they are... Oh, fuck. Uh, every other aspect about these kids, uh, every single thing they use is is new. It is a, it is a new thing that these guys are doing. Uh, it's part of their, like... Uh, it's part of their their whole thing, right? So, um, it's it's always a bummer uh, that that Tony is. Oh fuck my life! Um, it's always a bummer that I'm in a bad place right now because I don't really have a whole lot of bullets, but I have a lot of dogs coming at my ass. I like this dude, just your friends just getting massacred to your left, and you're just like, ah, eh, keep smoking. It's probably nothing best not get involved um but yeah so uh ooh, shoddy yeah let's melee is the best oh he also one hand shotguns uh which honestly is just cool um his he has the best shotgun killing animation by and large because of the way he just fucking one hands it um so this is a bad scene by the way if you haven't caught that this isn't a great place to be um the body's decomposing in the acid uh real good indicator of that real good um really opens up uh the possibilities as to holy fuck what is happening in this room um yeah he one hands everything which is actually really cool um i i guess it's more so just to kind of show off like yo man this dude like he means some business if you know what i mean like he can fuck a motherfucker up if he needs to uh but yeah, oh, hey, my gun. No, <laughs> uh, good thing that dude missed. This dude's not gonna miss though. Fuck. Um, be real with you. The music in this area, um, not as good. I didn't kill that guy. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. Um. Just, just kill all the dogs. Just, like, prioritize these fucking dogs, man. Cause God, they suck. I hate the dogs. Uh, that dude did not have a shotgun this time. I, oh, I lost my cursor. Okay. Uh, that dude did not have a shotgun this time, which fucking blows. Um, cause that shotgun's great. Ah! <laughs> that dog didn't even rush me. He just, just walked up to me. It's like, hey, what's up? La la la. I'm gonna eat you now. Blah, 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 blah. That was bad. 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 <laughs> yep. Fuck. <laughs> that scared me. That scares the shit out of me. Dogs. Oh, I wasn't. I was looking at. I was looking at my timer. I was like, how long have I been doing this? Because this might be one of those episodes where I play one level because fuck it's hard well <laughs> you can't punch dogs that's the thing it's like you have no dogs are an enemy in which you have no actual uh answer to um uh you don't have any answer to dogs uh unless you have uh, a weapon so you can't like punch them just to like, here's the thing i understand like you cannot punch dogs to death that's not something you have the ability to do in a person um but you should be able to...
Wait a minute. Okay, I thought I pressed. I, I, there must have been a knife by me, and I didn't notice. I pressed the uh, I pressed the pickup button, and it was and like he pulled a knife out, and I was like, "What? <laughs> he has a knife? When did he get a knife? <laughs> That's game changing because that would make this character literally one of because he would just be completely versatile. He can do whatever he wanted. Um, but yeah, I I figured that was probably. I figured I probably just picked up a knife that fell back here or something. Um, because that would have been way too good. Man. <sighs> like I said before, you know, you got you kind of feel bad for the dogs, and then you remember how much of a pain in the ass they are, and you no longer feel bad for them. Uh, thank God. Okay, cool. I almost fucked that up. Kind of playing this like a coward, and I understand that. Um, but I, I'm just tired of doing that little intro dance. Um, it's always fun to do. <laughs> it's always fun to do that. Uh, who do I got here? Oh, I did kill that guy. Cool, red. I don't even know why I'm aiming on that guy. He, he's just going to run towards me. I'm just going to shoot him when he gets closer. Uh, who do I got here? Got that dude. Melee weapon. Melee weapon. Not melee. Or I'm sorry. Melee weapon. Pistol. So like who really cares? Um, it's the shotguns. The shotguns and the automatic rifles are are the ones you want to be concerned about a little bit. Um, just because. Hi, cat. How are you? You're doing good cat stuff. Um, those are the ones that you don't really get a second chance on you know what i mean melee weapons like oh no this guy saw me oh well that's not a problem anymore um but shotguns you know they see you if they're if they see you it doesn't matter if you see them you're done um okay yeah i think this is just my last guy so i'm just gonna fuck <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, pistols really aren't a big deal. Uh, you know, if they if they kill you, you know, they're not gonna see you. You're, you're good, don't have to worry about pistols really like ever, you know? Brutal, brutal, brutal. Come at me, Commander Puppy. I'll be real with you. There's way too many dogs alive right now for me to feel comfortable. And... Got him. Didn't get that one. Didn't get that one. <laughs> I hate dogs. I hate them. I actually love, like, I, you know, dogs are cool animals. They're one of my favorite animals. I hate dogs in this game. They are just, they're like worse. I, I, I honestly think if I had to check up, like, what are the worst dogs in video games? These would be up there. Like, I've heard bad things about the Resident Evil dogs, but man. Fucking, goddamn, fucking, they're so sneaky. They're so fast. You can't see them sometimes. Their their patterns are weird because they, they just follow the wall, right? Um... But that doesn't necessarily mean anything because they can't change what wall they're on. So if you're not careful, you run to the scenario where, oh, they changed what wall they're on because they heard a noise or whatever. And now you've lost track of that dog. Right. So, like, I know they're going to come and go this way and then go around and all that jazz. But when they get to an, a gap, I believe they they do alternate like, you know, they, they have a chance to change what wall they're on. Um, so they're they're all over the place. They're really hard to predict. They're really unpredictable enemies. They're fucking good enemies because they fucking hit like a truck. You know, they're so it's, it's a bad scene, really. These dogs. This is what I was talking about earlier, by the way. Uh, more, further shown uh, as it was shown last episode, where sometimes you are uh, your aim is good, like you have the mark on them, and they just don't die because the just the way this game handles accuracy is weird ha um so it's valentine's day was it midnight yet no uh it's valentine's day in two days technically um i will have posted this by then uh as 
uh, episode two is going up on Valentine's Day, so I don't really have to worry about like my girlfriend. My girlfriend, I don't think watches this. Um, but um, but yeah, I got her um, some some stuff. I'm proud of. Aha! Fuck you! Oh man, this level. Um, that's weird. I thought this was the level in which a room. There's a room in this game that just blows up. It's never really explained. Like it just has a bomb in it. I'm probably, uh, as, as evidenced by the fact that I can't remember what room it is, <laughs> I'm probably forgetting something important, detail-wise. But, man, is it, it's, it's in here, it's somewhere. Uh, and I remember thinking, like, it's not, it's not like, uh, it doesn't, there's no warning to it. It's just, there's just some weird shit in that room. Like, all I, all, the only thing I remember about that room is that, there are parts of it that you don't see in other games like the assets in that room you don't see in other games so yeah you know like i don't i don't remember where it is and i think it's towards the, li the end part of the game which we're about the middle so yeah anyway so look we're pardo and uh now we are this woman who is naked uh as you can see here um we are uh i'm ash okay so you know you got to just kind of kick everything under the mattress so they can't see it get rid of all the bloody clothes put on some clothes Oh shit! Damn it! I'm fucking. I always forget which one's the girl. Okay, <laughs> Alex is the girl. Okay. So what's all that about? Uh, the water in this game looks fucking radical. I remember liking this level a lot. So fun fact, I was reading uh, Wikipedia, not Wikipedia. I was reading this game's wiki because I couldn't remember what the name of the uh, ultra american uh group that actually started all the killings is um it's 50 blessings by the way um fuck um it's yeah it's a group called the 50 blessings um because you know the 50 blessings 50 states yada 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 um anyway so i couldn't remember their name um so i had to look them up and uh in doing so i was like I was reading about the characters because I was trying to also remember like who haven't we seen who like how many characters have we played as so far these guys suck um and then it was like oh yeah Pardo has special gun abilities and I have no idea what they're talking about like I've beaten this game I like I don't know what they're on about um anyway so these guys if you shoot at them they're they're behind cover you have to wait for them to get up and then shoot them but if they're getting up that means they're shooting you um so you do have to be uh like it's a very quick process uh but damn this level looks fucking cool um it's just a cool level I like the cover mechanics of this it it, it like this this one part of the game essentially turns into a cover shooter, which I think is neat. Um, like this part right here, it, it, it honestly looks like it's tedious. And after the like 30th time, it kind of is. So they, their placement of it like that, once I, once I kill those guys, I'm done with the floor. Um, so like it, it's actually not that bad. Um, but so like if it was in the middle of a level it would it, it, that's when it gets annoying at least with that many dudes um but this is one of the few 
like new enemy types they introduce in this game that I don't outright think is garbage. Um, we haven't even actually gotten to the character. There's there's a particular character that we're gonna get to that I despise fighting. Um, I don't even remember why. I just remember thinking like, this is like duh that they would do this, but also it doesn't play well. They didn't do a good job of it. And it's not dogs. Like, dogs, I hate, but that's because dogs are hard. You know what I mean? Like, I understand dogs. I get dogs. Dogs, I can kill easily. This enemy that we're talking about, I can't kill. So anyway, um, what I like to do is isolate these guys. Um, so, like, that dude's dead. So now we're going to move to this gentleman here. Um, shoot him there. And just kind of go down the line, you know? So, like, this is a bad place. We don't want to be right, right there. That was stupid. I, uh, I, I, I overstepped and went outside. Uh, I, I overstepped and went around the front of the canister, which is not what I want to do. Um, I do like the fact that, like, while I'm getting shot by these guys, like, I'm pretty safe, all, in all honesty. Like, well, I'm pretty safe in all honesty gets fucking murked, but like uh, what I mean to say is like I'm I'm not in a bad place like I, can, I, I when I'm doing this part I, I don't feel pressured when I'm running around like bullets are coming at me I'm probably not gonna get hit you know what I mean uh, what if I did that Damn it. Um, I've never actually tried running around them. I'm gonna try that this time. See what happens. Fuck it, right? Uh, the birds flying. Like, this is just a cool level. Uh, looks neat. Plays neat. It's got, like, interesting... Like, this is a new mechanic that's actually really... Honestly, I think a little bit underused. Like, because you would think that this would be something that would happen uh, after a while with these dudes constantly getting murked. Like, you know... You would think they would establish, like, maybe we should just build some fucking sandbags because everyone really likes killing us. Um, like, a whole bunch. It's kind of their thing. Um, literally, there are four char five characters in this game in which that is literally their whole thing is killing people. Um, these people in particular. I don't know who these people are. These generic bald men who are clearly in some kind of gang, I think of... I'm going to probably go ahead and say some kind of Puerto Rican descent um, or Cuban. This is Miami, so they're probably from Cuba, uh, if I had a guess. So the cool thing about those guys, they won't get up <laughs> if you're shooting at them. Uh, but yeah, this is hard. But like, like I said, everything I'm doing, I'm not, you know, it's not... I don't feel like I'm getting fucked here. Like, I can see them getting up. I know my timing's poor. Like, they just shot me quicker. That part's fine, you know? Um, honestly, I actually... And that one, like, I... You know, you can't stay in those channels for too long. You gotta keep ducking and weaving in between these things, which is kind of, I think, what I'm doing wrong when I actually get to them proper. It's gonna be a long episode, by the way, uh, if you haven't guessed, because we are already over 20 minutes, and we have just started this one. Uh, and like I said, I'm not gonna cut any episodes mid, or I'm not gonna make any episodes get cut mid, uh, level. Fuck. Damn it. I don't even know how I fucked that one up. That one was just stupid. Trying to be too mobile and I'm not focusing on my timing. There's a lot of timing in this game. Especially when you're doing melee weapons. Oh wow, that didn't kill him? Whatever. Damn it! I'm going to get quiet here, just heads up. 
Like, this isn't me being a shitty Let's Player. I kind of need to focus a little bit. Hey, fucker. Thank you. Mmm, I almost hit the table. Like, like I almost put my fist on the table and then I stopped myself. I'm like, you're recording. Don't, don't hit the table. It will sound bad. Um, and also this table's made of glass, so maybe don't hit the table just in general. Um, Got him. Got him. We got one guy. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm out, like I'm on easy street, but yeah. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Let's go. I shot that big dude, so he's done. Okay, cool. Thanks for the guns. Okay, cool. Uh, who do I have still? Got him. So now this dude's just going to bleed out. Okay, cool. Red, got it. Oh, man, that's so many people. Honestly? Okay, cool. Oh, there's dogs. Fucking dog. Got him. Wait, no, I didn't get him. Now I got him. Okay, cool. What do we got here? 12 bullets. Okay. Woo. Woo. Got him. Okay, he's down. Okay, so this entire back area is clean now. Got those two. Big boy right there, dead. Dead. Okay. See when I'm when I'm not focused on talking and providing commentary, uh I, I am good at this game. Uh, it's just it's weird. Um people don't think about how hard talking to yourself for and at this point I'm hitting probably about an hour uh just all together um people don't think about how hard that actually is um but it is very difficult to do um and now put along like you are talking to yourself while also having to carry like interesting conversation with yourself oh shit that dude took the shot for him goddamn american hero right there Yeah, I, uh, I don't know if I have the bullets to do this. There we go. Got him. Okay. Okay. I don't even know who I left alive. That was a good ass run though. I'm not even mad. That was not a good run. That was the opposite of a good run. Um, here we go. We got we got we got movement here, mouse. Cool. I shot the door into that man. 
Fuck. Yes, bitch. Oh, what a clutch ass throw. I've been playing a lot of uh, Apex Legends, and it's brought back a lot of my COD lingo. Um, which, if you if you're catching me just screaming out clutch and and other Call of Duty lingo, uh, fun fact: I used to play so much Call of Duty. Um, I'm actually I don't want to say good at first person shooters um, because I'm not. Um, but if you have never played a first, like to my friends who don't play first person shooters, um, like we know when I hang out with my buddies, right? We normally play a lot of, uh, like fighting games or, you know, party games or stuff like that, you know, uh, in which I'm not like the greatest at, but man, back when I used to fucking play call of duty, <laughs> uh, like I just have that in me a little bit so I can. Uh, sorry, I'm, yeah, okay, cool. Um, so, anyway, so I used to play a lot of Call of Duty, right? So, um, the one time we did play first-person shooters, I, I think it was, like, Call of Duty, or it might have even been Medal of Honor, like, just, uh, some, I had it on Xbox. For some reason, I brought over my Xbox, like, original Xbox. This is, like, well into the 360 era. I, I just brought over my Xbox, um, and we played it, and I fucking ate everyone's lunch it was satisfying as hell this is a bad weapon to have for this area uh, and i acknowledge that so we're gonna get a better one i cannot believe that that worked okay i got the big dude okay yeah okay cool knives still do kill that way stomp your ass okay cool Got that dude. Hide behind these generators some. Let's see. Wow, I fucking destroyed these people. Okay, that's bad. Need a gun. Okay, that dude's coming at me. I don't really care. That dude is coming at me. I do care. Okay, cool. Um... That does open up this area, I believe. Yeah. No, it doesn't. I mean, it kind of does. I just want that shoddy. Okay, cool. Now I don't care. Really, guys? Man, you guys... Poor situational awareness. I just love the people that patrol when, like, there has very clearly been a massacre here. And they're just, like, literally stepping over the bodies of, of their co-workers. Like, yeah. Old Bill got shot again. Oh, that tricky bill. Like, it, it's literally one of the... It's it's dumb, but it's kind of like one of the good dumb parts of this game that doesn't take itself too seriously. Like, the, one of the arcadey things is like, yeah, yeah, they probably should care more that there's just bloody people everywhere, but they don't. They're just like, yep, oh, another day at the office. Oh, well, you know. Oh, look, I got shot again. Darn it. Hopefully the government pays for this one. I don't I don't know what I'm going with here. Um, hey, get up. Good job <laughs> Okay You guys got a long one today Whee. Get rid of all the weapons there could be no evidence that I killed all these people never mind the fact that I'm walking out of here by myself <laughs> Look at these lucky bastards that they weren't on that boat. What the fuck? Oh my god, there's a gun in here, I think. God damn it. Okay, so we're gonna call it there, um, because you guys have already had almost an episode and a half. Um, my name's Totem Trouser. 
you guys stay well let's see what my score is now because i'm actually interested uh wow really uh fucking time bonus uh my name's tone Trash. you guys stay beautiful i hit the pop stand i'm sorry